Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Inday Changge, your nurse in charge. So guys, for today's vlog, we are going to talk about your favorite. I know this one is your favorite, so let all that apply. I know it's one of your favorites in the examination. You are trying to throw these questions because they are really a bit hard, right? And you're not alone. I guess everyone do have a challenge in answering select all that apply questions or the multiple answered questions. We are going to talk the five tips on how are we going to surpass these select all that apply questions and get the answer right away. But before that, please click like, comment down below whatever you want to say, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to keep that notification down below so that you'll get updated on whatever. Also, don't forget to keep that notification down below so that you'll get updated on whatever topics that I will be uploading. I am going to talk about five tips on how are we going to surpass and have a high rate in select all that apply questions. But I'm going to start after the intro. select all that apply questions has been debated in a lot of nursing schools and not only in nursing schools but also in review centers there is question here how many correct answers can SATA questions have can there be only one correct option and can all the answer options be correct so there are a lot of questions pertaining to this select all that apply questions and to answer this question I went directly to the NCSBN and hear what they meant it says here, multiple response items may require a candidate to select a single correct response, have more than one correct response, or require all responses to be correct regardless of the number or possible responses. The challenge here is that you already selected, for example, two to three answers from the choices. There is no partial credit. That means if you did not select all the right options, your answer is also wrong. It is all or nothing. Okay, so select all that apply option is really hard, especially for those nursing students who are still striving or trying to survive in nursing school. However, I prepared five steps on how are we going to surpass this select all that apply questions. And if we are going to practice every now and then these five tips, for sure, you will ace in your nursing school and you will pass in your nursing examinations. Number one on the list is take time. Take time to read the questions. For example, your clinical nursing instructor gave you already your paper test. Do not ever hesitate to read the questions more than twice or thrice, okay? Because for the first time that you are going to read the question, that means it's just a general reading. You did not get yet what is in the question or it's just proofreading. The second time that you already read the question, that means you are already highlighting the keywords so for the first one it's just a general reading the second one you are already highlighting the keywords and the third one is you are already debriefing on what is needed okay so let's try this a patient reported in ed for chest pain radiating to the left arm what do you think are the things to be done select all that apply so for the first time that you read this question it's just both reading meaning to say you might understand already the scenario but you did not get yet what is in that scenario so We'll repeat we're going to read again this is the second one already we need to highlight the keywords patient reported in ed for chest pain radiating to the left arm what do you think are the things to be done so can we identify what is the keyword here the keyword is ed that means it's an emergency because the patient went to emergency department another keyword is chest pain radiating to the left arm so chest pain radiating to the left arm meaning to say we are already referring to the circulatory system the heart next one what do you think are the things to be done? So we have three keywords here. First, emergency department. Second, chest pain radiating to the left arm. And the third one, things to be done. So the question is asking for the interventions to be done when the patient reported to you and you are in the emergency department. So that is the first step in doing the select all that apply. By the way, to add on, before you are going to read the question, you must cover first the choices because the choices will just confuse you when you are reading the question. So, before anything else, cover first your answer or cover first the choices, I should say, and go to that question, read three times. 
And the second step is evaluate each choice individually. So in this scenario, we have choices give 5 mg morphine, assess for active pain or pain history of the patient. Number three, administer a tablets of 81 mg aspirin. Number four, perform EKG or ECG. And number five, check patient's medication history if the patient is taking any medication for impotence. So we have five choices here and this question is select all that apply. So the second step as I've mentioned earlier is that evaluate each choice individually. When you are already in the choices and trying to select the correct option, better check your highlighted phrases or your highlighted keywords. So number one here in the choices is give 5 mg morphine. I do have a question. Does the patient have pain? Yes, the patient is having chest pain that is radiating to the left arm. Okay, so the patient is already having pain. So the thing that you are anticipating that the doctor to give is morphine. Morphine is for pain. Okay, you got it? Let's consider it selected answer, but we are not yet considering that it is your final answer. Okay, number two in the choices is assess pain activity or pain history of the patient. Go back again to the keyword. The patient is having or reported chest pain in the ED. So as a nurse, as part of the nursing process, yes, we need to assess because the nursing process mentioned assessment comes first before intervention. So it says here assess pain activity. So let's consider again that this is a correct answer. Number three on the choices is Administer 8 tablets of 81 mg aspirin. Let's calculate. 81 times 8 is 648. So 81 times 8, it's 648 mg. And we mentioned earlier, chest pain, we are already referring to, to the circulatory system. And aspirin can help especially if the patient is having chest pain. Okay, are we considering this an, as a correct answer? No, no. Because 648 mg is already a high dose for a patient having chest pain. The doctors are just ordering 3 to 4 tablets of aspirin. And 8 tablets is kind of high. So, I'm not going to consider this one as a correct answer. Number 4 on the list is perform ECG or EKG. As I've mentioned earlier, when the patient is already reporting chest pain, that means there is a problem in the circulatory system. And we are also referring to the heart of the patient. So that means we need to know the rhythm of the heart of this patient if the heart is still functioning properly or not. So EKG is a must. And also as a baseline data, patient is in emergency department, yes, you need to get your baseline ECG. And the last is check patient's medication history if the patient is taking any medication for possible impotence. Is this a correct answer? Let me just tell you. A patient who is taking medication for impotence is having also a low BP because all medications for impotence causes hypotension. One of the examples is sildenafil or the Viagra. And one of the side effects of that medication is decreasing blood pressure of the patient. Now, I do have a question. You are actually looking for things to be done for this patient. Your patient is having chest pain and you are in the emergency department. That means once the patient is in the emergency department, we are looking forward to at least give first aid and as part or one of the medications to be given in a patient with chest pain who are coming to the emergency department is nitroglycerin or NTG. Also, one of the side effects of NTG is decreasing the blood pressure. So you need to know the history of the patient if the patient is taking Viagra because if the patient is taking Viagra and you are going to administer nitroglycerin also, there will be a detrimental effect to the patient. It will decrease more the blood pressure of this patient. You need to assess for the patient's medical history so that you will prevent any contraindications of that medications when the patient comes to you in the emergency department. If you can see, we have two options here that you need to assess. First one, assess pain activity and the other one is check for patient's medication history. And since the patient is in emergency department, we are looking forward for the things that we can do prior to the admission. By this time, we are already done with the two steps. 
first read the question not only once twice but thrice okay the next one is evaluate its choice individually and we're done with it we actually remove the option number three which is to administer eight tablets of 81 mg aspirin because we consider it as an overdosage the third step is treat each selected option true or false once you already treated all the options or you selected some options already the next to that is you need to consider it as true or false so let's consider this one number one give 5 mg iv morphine is it true or false true right because the patient is having pain assess patient pain activity yes it's true number three administer 8 mg we consider it already as false Number four, perform ECG. We considered it already as true because the patient is suffering from chest pain and we need to know the cardiac rhythm of this patient. Number five, check patient medication history. Yes, as I've mentioned earlier, especially if there are medications at home that the patient is taking, you need to note what are these things so, so that the doctor can properly plan for treatment and you can also work as a team with the doctor. Yeah. Number four on the list is that do not change your answer once evaluated. Most of the nursing students and some of the nurses who are doing the review, they are still confused. Once they already evaluated their answer, they are still thinking twice. I guess this one is wrong. I guess this one is better. They have it in their subconscious mind that I need to change this. But no. Let's use your answer once you already evaluated its choice. Last one or the fifth one is do not overanalyze. Enjoy the select all that apply question. And the thing that you will do is to practice 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 makes perfect and select all that apply questions needs to be practiced prior to taking your nursing examinations so those are the steps on how are we going to surpass select all that apply questions i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it will help you in taking the nursing examinations always remember prior to getting the right option you need to read evaluate stick to your answer and do not go over analyzing so I guess there's nothing more that I can add in select all that apply question tips. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. This is Indai Changge, your nurse in charge. See you again on my next video. Bye!